You may think these sound like those typical flathead airlines give out for free, but I can assure you, you cannot be more wrong. Hello and thank you for clicking on this video where I'll be sharing my first flathead earbud experience. This is the Dunu Alpha 3. Whenever I think about a flathead earbud, first thing that comes to mind is always that cheap earbud that you can get for $5 at your local bookstore, and it never sounds good. So there's already a very low expectation to this, so it'll be interesting to see if the Alpha 3 can change that. But before I begin, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Sebastian and Dunu for sending this unit in exchange for my honest feedback, but as always, all thoughts and opinions are my own. And if you've been enjoying my content, a sub to the channel and a like to this video will be greatly appreciated. Now that's all out of the way, let's talk about this single DD flathead earbud. The unboxing experience is the same as any other do new experiences before it. Opening the box, you will be greeted with the case. There's a box under that case where it stores two types of interchangeable ear tips, more on that later, a cleaning tool, and the do new case in grey, similar to the Falcon Ultra case, which I really like and I wish the Kima Classic had this case instead, but I digress. Inside the case, you've got the earbuds themselves, and yes, the cable is connected to the earbuds and are non-removable. And the cable looks looks and feels fine. It's thin, it's light, but it's not flimsy in any way. It definitely doesn't have that heft and bulk and sturdiness of the ones that comes with other IEMs in Dino's line, but it fits the theme of this earbud which is to be as lightweight as possible. The earbuds themselves look like a typical flathead, with just one or two subtle design flares to it. There's the Duno logo and wording around the earbud, similar to the Falcon Ultra, and there's some hard lines on the stem, I guess I would call that. All in all, it's very simple, but it still has character. For fit and comfort, I honestly thought these were going to come off easy, but once it's in, it actually stays in and the lightweight nature of the earbuds and the cable don't pull it down and despite me trying it still stays in which is great however i still don't get as tight a seal as iams which is understandable however i still feel smaller ears may have a hard time fitting them due to how wide the radius of the earbuds are but your experiences may vary the ear tips as mentioned earlier comes in two sets one that fully covers the entire earbud and one which has a hole in the middle and i'll be describing how this affects sound if any but what i'm about to describe for the sound is with the ear tips that fully covers the earbuds. Let's begin. So for bass, considering the fact that I wasn't getting the typical seal that I normally get with an IEM, I was expecting bass to be limp, weak and flat, but I'm actually getting the opposite of that. The bass sounds full and there's some meat to the bones, however being an open style earbuds, I'm still missing a bit of that impact and slam. It's at audible levels, it's probably a toe tapper at best, but definitely not a head banger. Again, still a huge surprise, I'll bet a good one, especially when you're expecting little to no bass presentation. Sadly, there's not a lot of reach into the deep end of the bass extension, but overall it's enough for track accompaniment which is more than what I expected for an open style earbud, but it's not going to beat an IM anytime soon. For mid-range, there's some warmth carrying through from the lower frequencies, there's some weight and fullness to the vocal notes. It's a vocal focused kind of presentation where the background music stay where they are in the background, but as an overall, it's not too closed in nor is it further away from you. And surprisingly, it's an aspect where I'm enjoying a lot from the Alpha 3, especially coming in expecting a weak hollow like vocal presentation, similar to what I was expecting for the bass. But yet again, the Dunu Alpha 3 proved me wrong and I'm glad to be wrong on this. For treble, the treble is smooth, and I would say this would be safe for treble sensitive people. However, it does have its compromise, especially in the treble extension. Air instruments like the trumpets is missing that openness to its sound, and the attack is a little blunted. It also sounds a little further away, and it's just not as present. This aspect of the frequency will disappoint treble hits or anyone looking for that clarity, but if you're sensitive to those regions, the Alpha 3 will treat you with care. For overall technicalities, the left and right imaging is average. I'm getting positions of sounds from the left and right, and vocals are at center stage. There's some macro details. The micro details tend to get lost in the track. I hear a lot more bass details coming through, which seems to be the highlight of these earbuds, and it can sometimes overwhelm a bit of those micro details in the track. And it's probably due to how subdued the treble presentation is. Sound stage is about average, whereas not too wide nor too closed in. It's a very laid back kind of presentation, but I wish there was more oomph to its detail presence because everything sounds like it's in the air, but it's just lost with 
within it. Changing the ear tips have very little impact, but the differences I've heard is that the open style ear tips gives it a bit more openness to the sound presentation, but it still doesn't help with the travel presence, so details are still lost within the sound stage. It becomes more of an all-in-one kind of presentation, and the bass is missing a bit of that note weight. So personally, I prefer using the covered up ear tips for the Alpha 3, but your experiences may vary. For power on my half an ear 400 on the 3.5 millimeter termination, I'm getting to about 10 o'clock on the dial, which is pretty standard. So to sum it all up, I gotta be real here. I came into this video with such a low expectation of open earbuds, but the Duno Alpha 3 completely changed my view. It sounds way better than I thought an open earbud would sound like, and I feel it's a great option if wearing IAMs causes you any discomfort. However, if I'm comparing its sound performance to an IAM, I just don't see this replacing them anytime soon. It's close, but there's still some way to go. However, this is based on one man's experience and I'm curious to know yours. Do you see the Alpha 3 replacing any of your IEMs in your collection? Or is there a flathead that you think can beat an IEM at similar price range? Comment below, let me know. And as always, thank you to Sebastian and Duno again for this opportunity. And to all of you for watching. Until the next experience, happy listening.